And welcome back to the Paul Dolan Details channel. Yes, a little bit of a break. We've had a break because we've had that stuff. What is it? Um, God, it's horrible. I've put it right up there with old people and Toyota Yaris's and Honda Jazz's. Snow, that's it. Hate the stuff equally. Pain in the backside, can't get out to do any cleaning, can't get out to do any filming. Horrible, very, very icy conditions. So we're back this week with chemical decontamination. Not clay barring, not clay clothing. If there's such a thing. I know there's such a thing as touching cloth, but that's something completely different. We're not going to do any of that. or well, hope not. My age is a bit, you know. If you don't know what touching cloth is, those of you in America, Google it. <laughs> something completely different. We're not going to be using clay cloth. Paul, oh, for God's sake, stick to the video. Chemical decontamination, starting off with a new product from a Bouncer's Wax called CI Wash. This is their citrus pre-wash, multi-purpose, multi-clean product, highly dilutable. We're going to be using that. We've got numerous other bits and pieces on here, including, finally, uh, let's get the big bottle because it's nice on camera. Nice and new as well. Zero Iron Oxide, the deep cleansing fallout remover, decon shampoo, all-in-one. Fantastic stuff this is. Spoiler alert. Garage Therapy. Been trying to get this on the channel for I don't know how long. We've got that uh, this week and also got Smash Bang Wallop. You'll see the rest of the products in the video. Stop rabbiting. Go and get your favourite crisps and just get like a really nice glass. It's all, I don't know what it is, but drinks taste better out of nice glasses. Pour yourself your favourite tipple and roll the video. Here we go then, we start this video with a recap. Uh, the All Black 9 series video, you've already seen this. Had a bit of an issue with this, with a bit of a leak. It's now been fixed. We have a new pressure adjustment 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 screw put my teeth in that one that's been replaced not the plastic cover but underneath so we have new o-rings as well and now not only does it go up to the working pressure but it also goes right into the red now there's no need to run it at this you're just going to decrease the life of the machine run it around about 10 or 11 that's a safe working pressure after talking to direct hoses that's what they said and there's a limiter on that really so it is working nicely now. I've been using this uh, quick rinse -a on the Metro. Show you a little bit of B-roll, why not? I do like the ergonomics on the machine and we have got some news for you about the direct hoses machines. We do have the Gray series coming to the channel. So watch out for that video. I will no doubt post on Instagram so you lot can keep tabs on me. What's going on behind the scenes? Well, enough about the Metro, more about the dirty fart tester, my son's. Now, it's his birthday, so why not give his car a clean? No, I'm not that tight, because I can give him some more presents. And yes, it is pretty minging. The clear coat on this car is awful. It is like, and I quote, a ploughed field. It needs levelling, so everything seems to stick to it. I've tried everything on this car, tested all sorts of stuff on it, and it all seems to go the same way. You'll see in a bit with the video. So all the usual traits, road, back road, B road, grime. And yes, those wheels need refurbing. Bit of a battle bus, this car. He's not really into his cars, my younger son. That's not a problem, everyone's different. So we start with the uh, stubby gun from High Definition Detail. This week I'm using the Neil Fisk. I'm going back to the Neil Fisk with the swivel attachment on the end. Give it a rinse down. I'm not going to scrub any arches out. We're just going to flush them out this week. Because he's going out. It's his birthday, remember. He's going out. He's not a toddler. He's 22. One wheel shampoo from Garage Therapy. Now, I'm not going to bother using an APC. I'm going to go straight in with the IK Foamer. 15 mil. As little as 10 mil you can get away with in one of these. And we have got another sprayer coming to the channel. More about that later on. I do mention that at the end of the video. Don't think it's going right in deep. We were. So ideally you really should be using a uh, all-purpose cleaner on the tyres, but they're not particularly bad. So we're just going to use the wheel shampoo and the fact I'm just completely lazy to be honest with you. I need to get this done. Need to get sorted. Tough shine scrubbing brush, tire scrubbing brush, and then the easy large wheel brush. And I have sped this up 
because I know you're going to go back out to the kitchen and grab yourself another beer. And you'll get to the good bits. So this immediately starts breaking down the grime. Although it is a shampoo, it is dedicated. It's a wheel shampoo. And these are perfect for polished rims. Not really like these, they're hardly polished. So if you have got dark polished rims, use a shampoo, a wheel shampoo. Don't have to use wheel cleaner. This is really bad, obviously. That's the Max Shine chemical resistant detailing brush. Lovely bit of kit that is. I do like that. And we've got the Detailing Outlaws Buccanizer. Yes, Buccanizer. If you have problems with your teeth, don't even bother trying to pronounce that. Oh good, only another three to do. Nice finish. Mm. CI Wash from Bouncers. This is the multi-purpose pre-wash. Now, because it's pretty filthy, we're gonna use a one to three dilution rate. It does say you can use it one to one, but we're gonna kind of split the difference. See that? Streaks already, look. It's, it's starting to work. So we're gonna go around the car, all the lower parts to start with. And we're gonna give this plenty of dwell time. Allow it to start breaking down the grime before you even think about touching that car. So straight away, you can see the difference. It's always satisfying this bit. Now it's not going to remove tar, we've got a separate chemical for that, don't worry about that, but it is going to remove the grime. Now this isn't completely a touchless wash, wash. However, I did speak to Jay who runs Bouncers and they have done one, a touchless wash. They ramped it up to one to one. They got away with just spraying the pre-wash on the car and it was done. If you go onto his Instagram, you can see the pictures of the truck they did. Quite interesting. So once this is dwelled, it's, it's pretty much there. You hit it with a pressure washer and it starts coming off. Now you will see some streaks on here. This is the beauty about doing a white car. It shows up everything. And this isn't so much about the product, it's more about the clear coat. As I said, I've tried everything on this car and it all has the same effect. It's a bit like bacon, streaky. I'm gonna do a 50-50 here, because that's what we do. Highly testicle this. Didn't bother with the tape up the car, that would just be ridiculous, wouldn't it? Now, apart from lots and lots of stone chips on the bumper, you should see a half decent finish. Music this week being provided by Stu Preston. If you want to go over to his channel, I'll put a link underneath this video. There you go, 50 50. Quick butchers. Yeah, you better do that bit, Paul. Not half a job, John, you know. Now, Kaos, you can ramp this up even more. Not so much with dilutions, but you can use a pump sprayer. If you have a large one, you can fill it up and walk around the car. So if you're a valeter and detailer, and you don't want to keep filling up the bottle. I've got pump sprayers, but I just choose to use the trigger sprays because I know a lot of you guys have got trigger sprays. It just keeps it a bit more relevant to you guys. So this is all before we do the main pre-wash. So you can use this in a snow foam cannon or a snow foam lance. I know our lovely friends over in the US like the word cannon, and this is no exception. This is the foam cannon from MJJC. There is a link a doodle underneath the video. Now, of course, it's gonna come out runny like that. It's not a snow foam. Around about 150 mil in the lance. This gets rid of all the gunk from the top of the car, bonnet, roof, and of course the glass. You're probably gonna yield better results if you do it with a pump sprayer or a double action trigger spray like the, or the one that I've got, the uh, 
bottle spray rather than just doing it with this and expecting astounding results. Of course, this waters it down considerably, like it does with most things if you put them in a snow foam cannon. Looks great on instant gram and book face. So now another rinse down. Color coordinated trainers and trousers. It's like man at CNA. They're waterproof, those trainers as well. Fantastic. No more soggy socks for me, I have you know. And I did sort of uh, spray them with something as well. Lemon sherbet shampoo. Don't drink it. From HD Car Care. Lots more coming from these guys. 40 ml per 10 litres of water. So not the strongest shampoo in the world. Nice user experience though. Smells rather lemony and fresh. Not in the gents toilet cubicle sense, obviously. You know, don't go start eating those sherbet bonbons in the trays either. Oof, foul. So there's some slip and slide action going here, but most importantly, it's the cleaning action. That's what we're after. We want both. We want all of it. We want foam, we want lube, we want cleaning. Tar remover from AM Details. This car is a magnet. I was gonna say something else in, something magnet, but I won't. This is a tar magnet, this car. It seems to be getting splattered on a regular basis. So that was left to dwell. You can see it bleeding down the panels. Just give it time. Don't expect it just to go fly off. Just give it time to do its magic. Allow it to soak in. Grab a not so plush, not so expensive microfiber and prime the microfiber as well with the tar remover. Top tip. Then you end up with a pretty squeaky clean panel. Another top tip for you is, make sure you've got a label on your bottle. You don't decant it into another one and leave it in the bathroom because the wife might think it's glass cleaner. She'll come out as hard as a kite. Or she might not come out at all. She might just be on the floor. GT Zero Iron Oxide Garage Therapies Decon Metal Fallout Remover. And so much more. Now this is a gel formula. So I'm kind of spritzing the panel. Comes out pretty gloopy. Allow plenty of dwell time with this. You'd be surprised what this stuff can do. Now this car has been done before, believe it or not and still it's starting to bleed out. So as well as the properties from a fallout remover, we have decon shampoo in there, which is a strong uh, shampoo, and you can get it on the panels with your wash mitt. Now allow it to dwell first, that's really important. Allow that reaction to come through. Yes, you can use a wash mitt, because it's got shampoo in it, which gives it lubricants. Lubricity, yeah, that. Not so much going on down the sides, there was a few bits and pieces, not really much that you're gonna see on the camera. Give this a really good rinse. Because it's got the shampoo in it, it's gonna require an extra rinse. When you use a traditional fallout remover you'll probably find it comes off a little bit easier so that is just a word of caution allow a bit more time to rinse it off thoroughly because it's got the shampoo you can tell I'm moving quick because I started getting a sweat on I have to take my hat off Drying time now, nice drying towel, super plush heavy one, I think this is the Alien Magic one. Always do glass first, and then you can follow up with your warm air blower if you've got one. Shameless advertising there, YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, I suggest you do. It's 
stick your thumbs up as well. Go Detailing, the first product from Go. We've got a number of products from those. The Pro QD. So obviously this isn't going to give them this car loads of protection, but it's just going to give it some. It's more about weeks rather than months, these products. And I think they do an SIO2 one as well. So a few liberal sprays, what you might find is you're going to need two microfibers. Pretty damp cold day to be honest with you. I'll work it into the panels and allow it to flash off. What I ended up doing was just following it up with a different towel in the end. You'll soon know when it flashes off because you'll feel it on the panel. It's quite nice to get a gloss on a white car as well. So once I've pulled my finger out, Time for the next product, Speedy Glass Cleaner. Love the smell of this, and so does my wife, so much so, they sent me some more because she nicked it. So I'll put a link in for Samsung. If you haven't seen the video of their products, I'll put a link in for that as well. What I love about this product, it flashes off pretty quick. You haven't got to muck about. And I'm not going inside that car, that is a biohazard. More about that car in a future video, interior wise anyway. When it comes to the last bit of drying off, I mentioned about the warm air blower. This is my one from Big Boy, Ultimate Finish. Actually made these in Australia, believe it or not. It's an Australian make. Great bit of uh, kit to use. Drying the tires, drying all the nooks and crannies. The reason we are drying the tyres thoroughly so we can get some dressing on them. Now I have used the next product before on the BMW but it's been reformulated to make it easier to apply. Drifter from Bear Car Care. Gives a nice and glossy appearance, lasts for weeks. If you're not into your glossy ones, then you know it might not be for you, but I actually really like it. And that is it, ladies and gents. Time for all that floaty Steven Spielberg stuff at the end. Right, the Ford fart tester looks nice and white again. All reds get covered in crap on our lovely Essex roads, especially this time of year. Awful. Now, we have used this first product before on the channel, the uh, Gary Therapy One Shampoo, the One Wheel Shampoo. Don't get confused with the bodywork one, which is one shampoo, and the other one is zero decon shampoo. Lots of ones going on. 15 mil of that, as little as 15 mil. You can go back further, even 10 mil, in one of these IK foamers. I have ordered a Mesto foamer, but thanks to the um, wondrous <laughs> delights of Amazon, they sent me the wrong one. If you follow me on Instagram, you see what they sent. Yeah, I'm not into gardening. No, thank you. So that's going back. 
Mesto one's gonna be here and we're gonna be reviewing that, don't worry. Right, let's get through this. So CI Wash and Bounce is the pre-wash, multi-clean, multi-purpose product, safe to use on sealed, waxed, ceramic cars. We don't have to really worry about that on the Fiesta at the moment because all the salt and stuff is stripped off the LSP. So we don't have to worry about that. I've got to say right from the start, I've used loads of these on the Fiesta, different citrus products and TFRs, and because the car's not been machine polished, they do struggle a little bit, and you have to up the ratios. Actually, one up to one to three with that, and you might possibly want to use the maximum, which is one to one, heavily soiled vehicles. Did it work? Yes, it did work to a degree. You still have a little bit of streaking on the car, I've got to be honest, but that's probably down to the fact that the clear coat is like a ploughed field. On the Metro, works fine. Anything works fine on that car. I did try this out a little while ago on the Metro, just a little muck about with it. And it does work very well. Smells delightful. And most importantly, I know you guys, especially at the moment, everyone's like, wallets are like creaking under the strain of lockdown and everything else. It's very affordable. $24.99 for five litres. Don't often mention prices on the channel, but I believe that's quite important. No, I'm not affiliated with them. I just thought, you know, that's pretty good value for money. So it's worth a mention. So that was the... Bouncers Wax CI Wash. Uh, next, we had the shampoo. Now, you're going to see a lot more of these guys. HD Car Care, uh, the Lemon Sherbet Shampoo. Not particularly strong. Uh, 40 ml per 10 litres of water. Just check I got that right. Yes, I have. Yeah, 40 ml per 10 litres. Without glasses, blimey. Smells delightful. It's not too strong, but it's subtle. It all goes down to the user experience. Yeah. It could be stronger, uh, it's, you know, it's not lots of shampoos out there, some even weaker than this, but all about the user experience, to be honest with you. Created quite a bit of foam, they had loads and loads of lubricant, especially on the ploughed field Fiesta, and worked. Decent cleaning power as well. Uh, then we got to the actual uh, tar remover, <laughs> gold AM tar. Uh, there is a link underneath, if you Click on the link, there is an affiliate. I've got to say that to you guys. There is an affiliate link to the AM Details range. Works very, very well. Instant, <laughs> down the doors, wipe it off of the microfiber. Prime the microfiber as well. Don't just put a dry microfiber on the car and it gets rid of all the tar spots. So it's like a tar magnet, that Fiesta. Awful. Uh, then we came to this, which is really impressive and very, very interesting. Now I have used this over the last few months since you've sent him out another bottle, the Zero Iron Oxide. Okay, it's not just a fallout remover, a, par a metal particle remover. It's got decon shampoo actually inside it as well. It's very thick. So what, you can hear it. I will say to you guys, when you're spraying this, it's going to be a bit gloopy. Hence the follow-up method with the wash mitt. Now you're probably watching that going, oh my God, a wash mitt on fallout remover. I wouldn't advise it with a normal one. I advise you heavily, you know, you clean that car thoroughly before you do it. It's probably gonna think, oh no, it's gonna mar. When I did it, I allowed the actual reaction to come through. It changed color. I didn't just put it on and then just go, right, I'm just gonna wash the car with uh, fallout remover this week. Allow it to do its thing and then spread it over the panel to allow that dwell time even further because this stuff, I've used this on wheels, it's insane. I really like it. Mixed comments on uh, Instagram and probably on Bookface. People saying it doesn't bleed very well, it doesn't change color. We all seen those pictures. Just because a product looks like a stuffed pig and it's been knifed, sorry, it's not really nice, but you know, it doesn't mean to say, funny color as well, doesn't mean to say it's gonna be fantastic. The proof is in the pudding. It is very, very deep cleaning action with this. I've done this on wheels, very, very good. And it seems to really get that squeaky, squeaky clean feel, hence the thumbnail, on the Fiesta. So love it. Yeah, it does smell, obviously, because it's got the old fallout in it. Uh, when we came to, I nearly said finishing off then, but I won't say because it's very rude. Uh, the uh, Pro QD from Go. More stuff coming from these guys. I'm trying to spread these products out throughout the videos. They're Pro QD. Brilliant at removing any last residue on the car and it gives you that final gloss. Now it's fairly cold when I did it on the day and you did require two cloths because it doesn't really flash off incredibly quick. When it does, it produces a nice gloss and you've seen there is some nice water behavior from that. Also a new formula from this last uh, product. Oh, not quite, I've got the glass cleaner. Steady on there, Paul. 
Drifter tyre gel, featured this on the channel before from uh, Bear Car Care. More coming from these guys. <laughs> you want to see it in here. New formula, it spreads really, really well. There is a, when I used it last time, it is thick and it's quite tricky to get round the tyre. It's uh, similar to Meguiar's. God, that's got takes you back, doesn't it? Uh, but it smells delightful and it lasts for weeks, it really works well. And it's got a decent top on it for application to squeeze into your tyre applicator. Uh, last but not least, the Speedy Glass Cleaner. I've rescued this bottle. It's actually a new bottle because my wife keeps stealing it and using it on the shower. Sounds from car care. Uh, yet again, more coming from these guys. I'm so behind on videos. Smells delightful. Flashes off like a tree. Great stuff to use. So a bit of a mixture this week, some different products for you guys to have a look at, and girls, don't be sexist, Paul. If you like this sort of video, if you like this style of video, don't forget, stick your thumbs up, get your comments in. I try and interact with as many people as possible. I'll try and get back to you. If you're going to be negative, don't bother, because I'll just go and delete it. But most people on this who watch this channel are pretty good, and we all interact with each other, and we share the love. God knows we need it at the moment. Take care, guys. See you on the next one. Teddy, bye.